Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be going through my five favourite Fujifilm recipes and we're going to be trying to go through them within five minutes. I recently took a trip over to Belgium and I was using the Fuji X100V with a 28mm adapter on there and also a Promus filter so every image in this video was taken with that combo and is a straight out of camera JPEG. None of these recipes are the Fuji weekly recipes. If you want some recipes that are all around replicating film stocks then they're definitely the way to go. This is ignoring those and me just searching the internet to try and find the best ones I could find. First up then we have a recipe by a guy called Emmanuel Sander from Germany. His website is so so good and I love the design of it and he has a whole bunch of different recipes on there. The recipe that we're going to be looking at though is one called Zero Hour. It has a very very cold colour balance, it's 4000 Kelvin, so if you take photos during the daytime they look like this. However this is a recipe that has been made for night photography. I'll check some of the images up on the screen now and these are honestly some of my favorite images from the trip. In my previous video about Belgium I actually was editing the raw files and I was struggling to make the raw files better than this recipe. The recipe is that good that I was struggling to beat them in post. I think it also goes really well with the ProMist filter. That ProMist making those kind of neon lights have that glowy highlight look to them as a bit of a filmic vibe to the images. And I absolutely love this recipe. And for night photography, I've honestly not found a recipe better than this one. Next up then, I've got a recipe called Downtown Bloom by a guy called Ivan Cheem, who goes by the alias of Ivan Yolo. His website again is a goldmine of information for all things hi-fi as well as cameras if you're into that sort of thing. This recipe is quite stylized. It has a pretty heavy effect on the images. It has kind of like a brownish sort of tint to the image using that classic chrome and the muted colours and he does recommend that you use a Pro Mist filter which I guess links into the bloom part of this recipe's name. I really like the kind of muted colours and it fits in very well with that kind of street photography, travel photography. I'm not sure this is a recipe I would use if I was shooting landscapes but from a street travelly sort of perspective, this is a very good recipe. Next up then is a very popular recipe that I've just never got around to trying by a guy called Mark G. Adams. He has a bunch of recipes on his website, one camera, one lens, but the recipe that I was using on this trip was the Like a Like recipe. I think it was the V2 version. Now this recipe I think is a very good default recipe. If you don't want a heavy stylized looks but you want JPEGs with just that extra kind of little pop to them, this is the recipe for you. It's actually based on the standard Provia colours using an auto white balance with a slight offset of plus two blue, minus two red, which is what makes it very, very versatile. Doesn't matter what the conditions are, this recipe is gonna work regardless. Next up then is by far my favourite Fuji film recipe and I think it's produced some of my favourite JPEGs I have ever taken regardless of camera brand. Now it's by a guy called Avon Nordhagen based out in Oslo and it's based around an era of photography often referred to as the New America Colour Photography. Now the book in question that Avon has actually based this around is by a guy called Joel Sternfled. Avon goes into an awful lot of detail on his website around exactly why he chose the settings that he did for this recipe and there's a few that stand out as being reasonably unusual. One of those is the fact that this is a recipe based on the Astia Fuji simulation which basically no other Fuji recipes out there are generally based on. I find that it's actually pretty similar to the nostalgic negative that you get on the more expensive Fuji medium format cameras. Hopefully the images on the screen now are doing this recipe justice. So then on to our very last recipe and we have missed one important thing so far and that is a good black and white recipe. Now this one's actually by a fellow YouTuber that runs a channel by the name of The Big Negative. If you've not seen that channel it is definitely worth checking out. It's full of all things film, Fuji and Leica. Very very similar content to what you see here on my channel. Now this is a recipe that is based upon one of his favourite actors, Jeff Bridges and it's called The Dude. Now this is a very very high contrast black and white recipe. To achieve this high contrast we have got a boost of the shadows, we've got a boost of the highlights and we have got a clarity of plus four as well. This is pretty much as contrasty as you can get. I also really like the fact that this recipe has large grain and strong so it's adding to that gritty feel. So if you like a really high contrast gritty black and white images this is probably the recipe for you and you can't really get more contrasty and gritty straight out of the camera than what you're seeing here. Now importantly I have not made any of these recipes and all of the credit should go to those guys. I've linked all of their socials and websites down in the description so if you like these recipes make sure you go and let them know. But if you've enjoyed this video please please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you for watching guys, cheers.